This is Heather Smith with BarrelRacingTips.com, coming to you live from the National Finals Rodeo. Now, at BarrelRacingTips.com, we place quite a bit of emphasis on the horsemanship side of things. However, it's really my belief that as barrel racers, we are also athletes. There's no doubt that taking good care of ourselves helps us think and move with greater clarity, precision, quickness, and balance. What I want to point out is that fitness is important, not just physically, but also mentally. Now, it just so happens that physical and mental fitness are very closely related. One certainly affects and relates to the other. And there's much more to health than diet and exercise. When it comes to professional barrel racing, I had the opportunity to ask this year's top 15 barrel racers, how do you stay physically and mentally fit with all the difficulties of rodeo life? There were definitely some parallels in their answers. As for physical fitness, despite all those hours in the truck, Sabrina Ketchum, Trula Churchill, and Lisa Lockhart reminded us that caring for horses on the road requires packing water buckets, hay bales, shavings, and so forth, and that getting around at the average rodeo grounds does require a fair amount of walking, so that's one inevitable way to stay in shape. Michelle McLeod and Brittany Posey pointed out that they usually have several horses with them, which means they stay active through all the saddle time they're getting in. Taylor Jacob and Michelle mentioned that they do try to eat healthy, and Jane Melby and Sydney Blanchard actually stick to a gluten-free diet. Sydney and Shade of Brazil are de dedicated to working out, even on the road, whether jogging, doing some form of cardio, such as running bleachers or jumping rope. Sherry Servi pointed out that great self-care for her has a lot to do with trying to get enough quality rest. Now, as far as mental fitness, across the board, these ladies admitted that it is a challenge on the road. There are so many highs and lows, and it can be very tough and very hard at times to stay grounded. Several of this year's top 15, such as Mary Walker, Kaylee Bass, and Christy Laughlin, mentioned that they have a one day at a time attitude and they keep focus on the present rather than dwell on the past or worry too much about the future. Taylor and Jane listen to uplifting music as part of their mental and emotional fitness. And Shula Churchill has a habit of taking something positive from every single run, which is a great way to really focus on what we're doing well when it's so easy to dwell on the negative. I also really appreciated Sabrina Ketchum's idea about this was that it's about balance. She admitted that you do get tired, you must be competitive, but if you get too attached to the results, you can lose focus and feel defeated. She said it takes constant effort to maintain healthy mental and emotional fitness. Now establishing and maintaining this fitness when we're at home with all the comforts and routine is hard enough. But if you dream of being here running barrels at the NFR one day, I hope that you'll take these insights from the top 15 to a new level so that you'll be able to successfully handle the challenges that come along with rodeo life. There's no doubt about it. When we educate ourselves and value ourselves and our goals are important to us, then not only does following through with great self-care become easier to do, but it is essentially how we set ourselves up to perform with excellence in the arena and in life. Now let's take a review of these physical and mental fitness tips from the top 15. The opening ceremonies are about to start and I'm ready to go take my seat here at the Thomas and Matt. Before I go though, I'd love to hear from you. What are your beliefs or tips for establishing and maintaining not just physical fitness but mental fitness as a barrel racer? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for joining me here at BarrelRacingTips.com and remember that applied knowledge is power.